Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's big video I'm going to talk about IT tools uh, which is an app that I recently found and uh, wanted to share it with you. IT tools are collections of tools for web developers, system admins, etc. etc. It can replace uh, many online services and uh, it is just really really great uh, project. So after the intro, I will show you for what you can use out of uh, IT tools and how you can deploy it on your server. So you can have it available for your teams or you can do it as a on a public instance if you want. So let's get started. So when you visit ittools.tech, that is the official website of this project. And as you can see, you have many, many tools that can help you uh, with your uh, projects. For example, you, you, you can create a new token. You can select the many things that you want. It is really, really pretty straightforward with all the tools uh, that you got. You can also encrypt and uh, decrypt text. You can select uh, the different encryption algorithms and uh, yeah it's really really uh, powerful another thing that i really like is the rsa key generator and you can also encode the base 64 uh, strings in some cases we need to when we check the logs and need to get some license key for some software, it is usually encoded in the base64. And yeah, there is, I don't know how many, but uh, yeah, these tools are just really, really great. You can uh, generate uh, QR codes. You can uh, generate Wi-Fi QR code generator, SVG place the holder generator. Git cheat sheet, crontab generator is really really great. As you can see, you have all the meanings. I can generate a crontab. And yeah, so I think that's it. It's pretty straightforward. So uh, let us check the the guy who developed it. And uh, on the GitHub page, as you can see, it is updated almost every month and these tools uh, these IT tools are getting traction online because it is a really great project and not too many people know that this project exists so this is why I try to help also for the developer of this software because I'm using it now every day since I found it so that's why I want to create a video on it and first and foremost uh, I would like to donate uh, to this project because I really believe it can get really really more powerful in the future. What I like to see like maybe in the future is like the white label options where you can pay a certain amount on a monthly or yearly basis and you can get your own white label instance so that would be nice but yeah for now it is a probably a new project and yeah every Every little helps, so that's why I want to support this project. And I'm gonna do 60. I'm gonna do it as a business. And yeah, I want to receive updates. And I'm just going to do donate. It is simple as that. And uh, as I mentioned, this new project and uh, every every little helps <laughs> so yeah all right now when we got this done we can go back and check the installation and yeah you can just install it with this one simple command with docker run but since we are using it tools we can convert this command to docker compose so let's do that we copy it into the clipboard, we go here and we choose 
Docker, Docker run to Docker Compose converter. We're gonna paste it. And here you can copy to the clipboard or you can download the Docker Compose.yaml and upload it to your server. So we're just going to copy it and now we move back to our server. And here, as always, with any Docker Compose uh, project, we just do nano docker compose.yaml. Now we can paste it. And here on the left side, you can specify the port that you want to access it. Restart is unless stopped. Container name is IT tools. If you have your own networks, or you want to set up the Watchtower automatic updates, you need to add your labels there. But for this demonstration, we keep it simple. We just press Ctrl O and enter to confirm, Ctrl X to exit, and we can just launch it by docker compose up hyphen D. And it will pull the IT tools image and it will install it. So now our IT tools are running on port 8080. We already have our Cloudflare tunnel installed. So let me go back to our Cloudflare Zero Trust. And we're gonna launch it, or we're gonna set up the reverse proxy with Cloudflare. We're gonna IT tools, webnestify. Webnestify.cloud, localhost, 8080, I'm going to save the tunnel. <clears throat> and now we have our tunnel created and we can visit the IT tools. And the power of Cloudflare Tunnel is that you don't need to worry about SSL. It is done automatically. Uh, this uh, public instance is already protected by Cloudflare Network. It has built-in uh, web application firewall, DDoS protection, and uh, general threats. It mitigates general threats for any any open any self-hosted applications of that you route through Cloudflare. It has those protection for free and there's no traffic limit, but you cannot uh, forward through Cloudflare proxy like uh, videos or etc. because it is against uh, thermal views. So you cannot use it for your Plex server or a Jellyfin server. So, so yeah, now we have our own IT tools instance and yeah, it is really, really simple as it gets. So yeah, I think the, <laughs> the tutorial is over and you can find the Docker Compose file, Docker Compose file in the documentation on my portal or yeah, you can find it there and yeah, it's pretty easy and simple to run. Okay, so let me also go back to GitHub and as you can see, quarantine is behind this project. I highly recommend to check this GitHub page, install it, and if you like this project, if you want to use it, please consider supporting supporting this project because then he can develop a lot more features in the future that could help any IT developer or anyone who is doing basically anything in the cloud, like the web hosting, website developer, because you got also lorem ipsum would be nice if there is some uh, dummy image or generator vertical horizontal with a custom with the custom sizes but yeah thank you very much uh, for uh, watching this uh, short tutorial and thank you to quarantine for this amazing project i really like it and i'm going to use it and i'm going to support it every time i get a chance so you guys, uh, stay tuned, and in about uh, two weeks, I will get new, a new comprehensive uh, tutorial. Probably, I'm considering to create a comprehensive Bitwarden tutorial, 
from a personal use, business use, or even the organizational use. So every part of the Bitwarden is covered. So stay tuned and thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.